Welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our Crusader Kings 3 Chronicle, where we are working on taking over Italia, and we are currently at war. Uh, I did not review last episode. I forgot that we were at war already. So we're trying to take Lanc Lanciano, and uh, let's take a look here. We are, what, we're 57 years old. We're playing as Sebastianos. Uh, Marcus is going to take over for us whenever uh, he's next in line. And he's got uh, pretty decent scores up here, especially up here at the top half. Um, pretty well-rounded overall. Really, his only weak area is Intrigue. And we'll probably be working on increasing development under Marcus. But for right now, we're trying to take the county of Lanciano. And this is an attack force. This is... I left just enough troops to siege down Lanciano. This... This force here is hunting down opposing armies and then probably sieging Spoleto is the idea. So let's go ahead and get started. It's 1097 AD. We have four months left on this siege. I hope that his army doesn't wheel around and... Yeah, we need to, uh, we need to get them. Uh, my spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local farmlands for an unknown noblewoman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Okay. All right. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. All right, I caught them. So... Court Physician's Knowledge increased. Uh, Anthusa is now a Novice Physician, and we can fight this battle. I wonder what that actually says. Oh, enemy routed casualties, your routed casualties. We have high quality troops, and they have decent quality. So let's load it up in Bannerlord. and get after it. Okay. So, let's see, I like to add 10% of these troops. to protect my archers. So we got a completely flat area here. Uh, we maybe could defend here. Uh, we're attacking. We're going to have to assault them. They're probably going to hold this area right here. So let's get a wider formation. Mm, their calf would mow me down. I don't want to have that happen. So I am not going to lead with my archers.
I was disoriented there for a minute. Looks like they're gonna hightail it for that hilltop. They got their calf taking high ground. I would have put my infantry and archers up there. Let's use the RTS camera here for a minute and find out how we should set up. Everybody's moving into position. Get moving. Down. Footman. Forward. Okay, so my footmen are attacking. I want them facing this direction. There we go. Bowman, shoot arrows. Cover with me. Yeah. Arrows. Soldier, shoot up. Okay, so s while I have my cav riding with me, I think I want to hit their archery line. See, with my cab following me, we just jack their archery line up to kingdom come.
not my guys. Okay. How did I? Mm. I thought I was going to take him out. Finally got a kill. These throwing weapons will hit really hard if you can land them. Okay. I don't, uh, didn't do that great on that one. I only had the one kill. But we as an army, uh, well, of course we had overwhelming odds over them, but we, we decimated them pretty good. After action report, we killed 1,046, only lost 377. Looking at the Knights events, we captured Mayor Arnifrith. Not a whole lot of kills by our knights, but there weren't a whole lot of people to go after either. All right, so. Let's see if we can wipe out this small group right here. I'm not going to take that one into Bannerlord. Is he still coming in? Oh, he can't. He can't uh, escape it. And then we're going to go Siege Spoleto. Now I need to keep an eye out and make sure that this this army here, whenever it's done routing, doesn't circle around me and get after this guy. But it looks like he's almost done. Yeah, he is. Okay. So maybe he can come up here. I see 2200. I just need to watch it. We got uh, 14 months left on this. It's probably worth going ahead and attacking him. He's going to make a beeline over here for Lanciano. Okay. Uh, this 11 month, 11 months left on that siege, and this battle right here, we can go ahead and fight this. We're gonna crush them but it is their primary army and I want to try and uh, decimate them as much as possible probably don't need anything fancy here um, let's go ahead and get a wide combat with that didn't work And I'm not even going to bother with uh, a defense force for my archers. They don't seem like they're spread out. They seem like they're packed in pretty. Yeah, I guess not.
There we go. Okay. And uh, go. Footman, move four. Move it onwards. Right, keep close. All sides follow me. And I'm just gonna get after him straight away. I've got everybody on advance. So they're basically self-managing without actually giving control over. So I can take it back if I want. That guy's not going to have a good day. <laughs> Get him. Am I swinging a mace or an axe? I can't quite tell. I think I got an axe. Oh, yeah, I do. Did we put him down? It looks like it. Oh, I think I blew his shield up. I did with my javelin. Oh, I'm out of throwing weapons. Okay. Time to let the horses go. My calf is now at assaulting what did he he deflected that with an axe his horse still has the javelin in his hind quarters let's find somebody else they're going after him Okay, I just told my infantry to charge, so they're going to envelop them now. They're routing. Can't be too many people left. Officers fleeing the field, maybe. Yeah, that guy with the banner over there on the hilltop. There's a few of them out there. And they're running. Okay. Uh, this time I had uh, six kills. How'd my archers do? Only 10 kills. Ugh. Man, I gotta learn how to use archers better. Uh, is this the 8th July? I don't know if this is the new one or not. Uh, it is the new one. Uh, yeah, they're down to 712 people now. So we killed 1,500 at the cost of only 230.
just set back up at, now that they're at 712 I think uh, oh no they got more where'd these guys come from 1500 oh he probably hired mercenaries against Curtier. Now that the plot's exposed, it's not likely to succeed. And we caught him. All right, let's go ahead and just let it complete. Enemy combatants captured. Mayor Adelgis. We're at plus 84% score now. War score. This guy's neutral. He's fighting in a different war. We got 14 months left here. This one would have, I don't know how many, but they don't have enough. Okay, daughter came of age. So we need to come over here. Let's go, come on. Okay, so now we will combine these armies and then split off enough for besiegers. Uh, grab the larger army and bring it to Spoleto. And uh, we're at 89% war score. Which one of my daughters came of age? Spouse, not spouse. Okay, so this one. So again, we will do matrilineal, go by prowess. And uh, she's 16. We have a young guy here, a young knight. New. No. Well, we got a 29 year old. Yeah, youngish. Here's a 21 year old with 23 prowess and the giant trait. That'll work. That'll work. We're at 90%. Now we should have a ticking war score where this ticks up one percentage point periodic, excuse me, periodically. Five months left. Once this siege is done, I think we'll win the war. I'm not worried about these guys. They will not be able to siege this down in time. And we've got a boy here, Emilius, who is part of our house. This is our other daughter that we married to a knight. Emilius, I think we'll just make martial education kind of a default for this particular family and he got the robust trait uh let's see you need to be educated by whom probably not me how about chris saganas Three months left. And they have four months left, so we're at 
you can hear the sounds of horror there kind of lets you know that sieges were pretty horrific once once everything broke um we'll take overseer what's that going to do for us plus two marshal plus two stewardship and plus 50 percent control growth that's nice and now now I am tempted to go into well I don't know see we could offset our weakness but really I think it's better to go down either stewardship we've already done that we could do whole of body, but I'm not necessarily interested in having a super long life with this guy. What if I roleplayed and said theology focus? I've never tried it before. I'm just going to give it a shot and go down the theologian line and see what ha what that does for me. Oh, only 97%. Well, I might have made a mistake. They're probably going to get this before I can get there, and I'll have to take it back. Which isn't terribly difficult, but uh, let's merge and then station besiegers. And now we grab these two arm, these. We grab the larger army and have them shoot down here. Predicted arrival is in two months. And they've got just a month left. We're at 98%, 99. Maybe I'll tick to 100. And there it is. Okay. Enforce those demands. And we're at peace with this guy for a while. Ten years, I think. But we have taken Lanciano. So. The Kingdom of Sicily steadily crawling up the Italian peninsula. The comfort of a friend. There are few things I enjoy more than King Benoit's company. We walked the town together, tossing coin to the poor and forgiving a daring pickpocket. A few acts of charity and forgiveness can truly ease a stressed mind. After this short break, I felt more at ease than I had in a long time. I'm lucky to have a friend like King Benoit. All right, we lose 52 stress for that event. By the way, guys, I'm recording these episodes pretty close to the time that they're uh, releasing. So if I miss a day or something, it's it's because I'm right on top of the schedule. That keeps my comments pretty close to whatever your comments might be, though. Um, let's get more money. Like, uh, for example, I'm recording this Sunday night, and tomorrow this is the episode that'll go live. It might not even have enough time to um get full hd before it goes public which i usually try to avoid but just didn't happen this time around we have low county control in lanciano prisoners can be ransomed and they will be ransomed and there's our timer that's good pretty good timing i have a thousand one hundred and fifty three gold we're making 44 ducats a month my goodness and, uh, oh, we could have found a, a holy order. Um, shoot, what was I going to do, guys? Uh, council, council, there it is. Chancellor, steward, marshal, increased county control. 
just starting Lanciano, three years left. And uh, actually, tell you the truth, start in Benevento, I think. Yeah, we have a number of places that need to be addressed again. Okay, fine. And that'll take them five months. We got nine years left to convert Apulia. So that's a long project. Um, hmm. Okay, well, we're at 17 October 1098. And we'll save it right there. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thank you.